Hey, 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 I am delighted to bring to you three beautiful new lipsticks from Masaba. They are the pure matte lipsticks that they have launched and um, I have been trying them out. I'm going to tell you uh, what I think about this versus their first launch as well. I have all of those 12 shades, but I didn't end up making a video for that. But this one, I definitely thought it deserved love and I must share it and present it to you folks, which is why I'm here. Stay tuned. I am Parna Ganesh and I welcome you back to Joy Geeks. This is where I create beauty content, some wellness content because I am really exploring beauty inside out. I hope all of you are drinking a lot of water, really taking care of your insides for us to shine on the outside. That is really my game plan in life and I really wish to share that with you in some way that will help you to also up your uh, skin and health game so that you know we look beautiful inside out now this video like i said is about uh, the latest launch from masaba these lipsticks are called masaba by nika matte lipsticks and they are a very different formula from what they had earlier on that's a completely different formula they look pretty similar to the earlier packaging i thought this was probably the same lipstick but in a different formula because this seemed so much better for me personally than the earlier launch i'll tell you the whole you know exactly what i feel about the whole lipstick but i thought this was another variant and then when i got the details of the lipstick i realized yes it is uh, a matte version of their lipstick and i really really love this because this is one swipe makkhan application it feels fabulous on the lips it is not drying in any way it is going to make my lips feel wonderful because i have dark lips and so the pigmentation is very strong you can't see through my lip i did think this really lasted a very decently long time say about four or five hours easily it even stayed through the meals you just need to touch it up but it's not like the whole thing disappeared the packaging looks very similar to you know because it's her iconic prints uh, which is fabulous but this time I really really love the formula this time around although on the outer box they have it plain they have not created the same print on the outside this is what it is on the inside I will take it one at a time and share with you exactly how I feel about the shade you know the most beautiful part about this is that it's genuinely pure matte without having any shine without it being drying, without it making it, you know, it being chalky. It's also cruelty free, paraben free, dark free, and it's a vegetarian lipstick. So I think it's going to make everybody happy. They've just launched three colors and the price is $7.99. And I think it's completely Pesa Vasool because if you want a funky looking lipstick, which performs great on the uh, lips as well, this is what you should definitely go for. The first lipstick that I am uh, going to show you is Make It Happen. This is what I have on my lips. This is very different from what the color shows in the sticker. It's, it's very misleading. This shows like a baby pink, but it's actually a burnt orange kind of a shade, which I love this shade, by the way. And I think all three shades are lovely for my kind of skin tone. I'm NC42 in MAC. For some people who don't are not able to wear strong reds, you could go with this because I think this is a bold lipstick but uh, still not in your face kind of a thing it's it's orange uh, with a little brown um, i i really like this shade for sure okay let's do the transfer test i didn't expect it to not transfer but for such a dark shade i think it's transferring very little and that is fabulous I think. see the difference between the two the first shade was orangish this is a pink nude which has a little brown in, in it which really makes it 
wonderful and uh, you know everyday wearing kind of a shade this is another shade called you grow girl this is such a beautiful pinkish brown which i think it's a delight i think i don't know if it's because masaba is a dark beauty herself these shades are like a dream come true for dusky girls for darker skin tones i am nc42 and i think this is such a beautiful nude where it's not washing me out it's not so nude that you can't see it at all of course the lighter girls can also wear this and that's the beauty that whatever works for darker skin tones also works for lighter skin girls so i, I think it's a win win situation three distinct colors this is just beautiful i love the finish this is such a beautiful deep red i really love it and i love these shades when they are not glossy this is a shade called believe in you again this shows like a little brighter red underneath but it is a much darker red on the lip and i am freaking out with it i i really love these shades i love you could see how it was just gliding through like makkhan effortlessly you know the best thing about these lipsticks i find is just the names itself it is so empowering it is such an affirmation just listen to this make it happen you grow girl and believe in you i think the names itself uh made it a big thumbs up for me and overall as a formula itself i love it and if you ask me between these three shades it's really tough to pick one out of these three i think that this orange is a very 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 unique shade and i think anybody who loves even slight or burnt orange would love this i honestly am not able to pick i love all three so i am waiting for a lot more releases of this formula in different colors I know I've been missing in action for a bit but you know what I've been working so hard on Video Excellence Lab as well which is why I'm kind of struggling to uh, you know create a balance between Joy Geeks and Video Excellence Lab but trust me just in about a few weeks I'm going to jump back with as much regularity as I was uh, you know publishing videos earlier and I am more than happy to um, do so I have been missing creating this content So I will be jumping back and you will see a lot more on Joy Geeks again. Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays is what I am targeting to get back to. Last two months I know was a little you know not very um, consistent but uh, I I promise I will be back here because I know I get a lot of sweet messages from you folks and I'm so grateful so thankful for all your love. I do hope each of us do work our best to achieve all our dreams i have worked so hard on joy geeks and you know try to figure out a way to create content by myself as a solo creator cracked a lot of video tricks you know to be able to shoot this by myself and i think it's only you know the right thing to do for me to go and share these techniques out with people and you know share whatever i have learned in my journey on joy geeks so video excellence lab is where i am going to have a lot of workshops a lot of master classes and i will share details below if you'd like to check that out do a hop on and i'm more than happy to you know help a lot of you i know a lot of you also want to be uh, content creators in different fields that you may want to be in and i'm more than happy to help you with uh, the video aspects the lighting all of those things so i will see you in the next video i hope you like this please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already it doesn't cost you anything i love to read your comments and i will see you there Okay, take care. Bye.